Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MatePad 12 Pro and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So to get started let's open up our settings and in here we can start off by going into the home screen and style and we have just a general section for customizing well, the look and feel of your device. Now we do have themes and wallpapers but we also have things more interesting like the ability for you to change icon packs if you have some installed. I don't unfortunately uh, but if you did we can change them right here. Uh, we also have the home screen uh, settings which allows us to change the layout. Now surprisingly enough we can actually reduce the amount of icons on the home screen. It's kind of odd, or whatever. Um, we have home screen style. This is something that I personally like to change, which I do prefer the drawer mode. Uh, so all your applications will be stored in a drawer. Okay, yes, I know. There we go. So you can see we have a drawer now, and this cleans up a uh, any kind of app mess that you might have had on basically spread all over the pages on your home screen. So it, I feel like this is just a bit bit cleaner of a approach to an Android. Oh, sorry, Harmony OS, which is basically the same thing. So I recommend checking that out. Now moving on to the display and brightness. Uh, here we have a couple things. So number one, we have the dark mode. Uh, you can enable it. So we have enable all day. Uh, this one, this is basically the permanent like dark mode. You can also have it set on a schedule so it will turn on and off at a specific time. And uh, you can have it um, automatic. I think this might, this might be the schedule mode here as well, but in a, without you selecting a day, like specific time, it, if this is it, uh, this would be switching from light to dark mode based on basically sunset to sunrise but I have not tested it out thoroughly to, to be certain of this. Now, moving further down, uh, if you tend to read books on your device, we do have the ebook mode. Um, so we have black and white or we have color. So you can see it just makes the display uh -huh. Okay, on camera, this is barely visible, but in reality, this display looks much more yellow. Um, so this gives you kind of closer to a, like a paper look. Uh, but it's still colored. We do have the black and white. Uh, I am not that big of a fan of the black and white, but actually here it doesn't look that bad now that I turn it on. Most devices when they have black and white, it's just keeping everything as it was, just removes color. Here it's also adding this kind of um, worn look to it, like the yellowish tint to it, and just like the colored one did. So this is actually pretty decent for reading books and also the fact that you have the matte display adds to that. Now moving on we have the color so let's see what options we have so we have normal and vivid uh, it's just basically the saturation of the display you can see massive changes in the red color specifically uh, other ones not so much maybe a little bit of yellow one but the red one is the primary change. And below that, we also have the color temperature. So you can select it to be warm, cold, or just change it up yourself. Um, I'm gonna keep it at default. Now going back, we also have natural tone or what is it, true tone for like Apple. It again, is that's that yellowish tint to it. It tries to match the environment that you're in. So usually it's just gonna make it look a little bit more yellow as most of us do use um, more of a warmer tone of lights than the neutral one that the display right now was trying to imitate. So with that, you get that bit more yellowish tint. Now this kind of uh, appearance goes away, at least to your eye, uh, once you get used to it, which happens pretty quickly. Uh, but just know that when you first turn it on, it actually does something nice. It turns it on gradually so it's not like flip on and off switch uh, but you can see it more when you turn it off it becomes bluish much faster than it takes that warm tone now another thing in here is the screen refresh rate so we have dynamic high and standard now one thing that i like in android is that uh, in android they remove the high option as it's basically the dynamic 
but shittier. So high would basically permanently run up to or 144. Here it's dynamic and high are basically the same thing. So balance is uh, smooth display and battery life uh, with maximum refresh rate uh, of 144, or I should say up to 144. And the high does the same exact thing. Um, so this option is completely redundant. Now standard runs up to 60 frames, uh, so it will look a bit choppier. Um, huh? Oh, there we go. Um, so when you go back, it actually takes uh, takes change. So in any case, I recommend selecting here either the dynamic or standard, depending on which one you prefer. If you like that uh, motion smoothness that you get with dynamic, then keep that on. Uh, if you don't really see a difference between the high and standard, then select standard. This will get you better battery life. Now, continuing on, let's see, do we have that here? Yes, we do. So, okay, got it. So we do have this edge panel, kind of like Samsung, but it's hidden away. So when you have gestures, uh, you when you go, you far, go back, you first have the arrow, but if you hold it, it actually changes to this, you can let go. And you have this panel right here that allows you to, for instance, grab applications, split screen them. And I believe we, sh no, no, we don't have the option to do a pop-up view, unfortunately. So there we go. Now you can also grab them from here and move them around. Um, you can also switch it up, save the combo. That's actually a pretty neat option. Now uh, does it get saved in here? Where did it actually get saved to? Oh, there we go. So it's on the home screen. So now anytime I want to launch this app combo, you can just press right here and it's gonna open up these two applications simultaneously. Uh, so that is a very neat uh, thing that you can utilize. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.